All right, so we are trying to solve a problem which appeared in JMS 2011. In this question, we are asked to find the shortest distance between the line y minus x equals to 1 and x equals to y square. So first of all, let's try drawing a picture of it. So y equals to x square would be a parabola which would be going somewhat like this, right? And then, then you will have line this y minus x equals to 1, which is a line which would be passing like this. Uh, when x is 0, y is 1, when y is 0, x is minus 1. So this is the line which is passing through minus 1, comma 0, and then 1, comma 0, comma 1, right? So this is your line, and then we want to find the shortest distance. So I mean, there will be several points which will be at distances right here. So we are just taking any generic point which is on this curve, and as this curve is actually x equals to y square, so if we take y as t, then this will become t square. So x will be t square and y will be t. So this is what is my generic point on this curve. So this point is anywhere, right? It could be anywhere, right? So now what I'm going to do is that I would drop a perpendicular to this line and that is what will be my shortest distance because from this point, all these distances, the shortest distance will be the uh, perpendicular distance from here. So I'll drop a perpendicular from here and this is what is gonna be my shortest distance. So we know that in a line where a line is given by say ax plus by plus c equals to zero and you are wanting to find the distance of this line from a point x1, y1. So the formula is given by ax1 plus by1 plus c upon square root of a square plus b square. So we will do the same thing here. Our equation of line is y minus x minus one equals to zero. And I'll drop a perpendicular from point t square comma t. So this will become, this distance d will become t square, uh, no, this is t minus t square minus one upon square root of one square plus one square, right? And that is what is my distance. So this is um, t minus t square minus one upon square root of two. Now let's square it just to make sure that we are able to find the maxima minima. So t minus t square minus one upon root two. And then if we want to minimize this distance, we can as well minimize the square of it. So we are calling this as y. And then to find the maxima or minima, we will be differentiating it. So dy by dt, by the way, this is a square. So dy by dt will be two times t minus t square minus one upon square root of two. So first I differentiated this, and then I have to differentiate this part also. So I'm using the chain rule here, so d t minus t square minus one by dt, and that should be actually equal to zero. So from here we get two root two times, uh, root two times, we can just take it as one plus t square minus t as well. And then this will be, into 1 minus 2t minus 0 equals to 0. So one part would be giving me t equals to half from here. And another part is going to give me t square minus t plus 1, which is going to give me, like, let's see what it is going to give me. So t is going to give me minus b, which is plus 1, plus minus b square minus 4ac. So this is coming out to be imaginary number. So we don't want to take that because we want to only have real number. So this is the one which will be actually having, uh, this is the only point which we have got. So this is where we will have our minimum distance, I guess. Uh, we could all again differentiate it and find out uh, this because we have got this right. We can as well check it here, like t equals to half, right? What would happen uh, if t is greater than half, right? So this quantity will become negative, right? And this quantity will become positive. So overall, it will be negative, right? Negative here. And then if it is negative, then this will be positive, right? So it is coming from the positive to negative, right? So it's coming from positive to negative. So this is your point of minima. So this is your point of minima. So t equals to half is the point of minima. So we got this point as one by four comma, 1 by 2. So what is my minimum distance? We can just substitute it here. 
So this minimum distance is going to be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 modulus of that upon root 2. So this will give me so this 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 will become 1 by 4, 1 by 4 minus 1 upon root 2. This will become minus 3 by 4. I could take 3 by 4. So this is 3 by 4 root 2. And so that is what would be our answer, but there is no 3 by 4 root 2. But if I look at this, this is what is 3 upon 4 root 2. I could multiply by root 2 and root 2 here. So this will become 3 root 2 upon 8. So yeah, this is what will be my answer. 3 root 2 upon 8 will be my answer. Okay. So uh, there could be another way to look at it as in like how I mean, we just generically we took a point and then found out this D2 we have. You could also understand that uh, the minimum distance will be along the common normal. So you can take it as the point of normal as well on this curve. And then also you can find out the minimum distance in a different way. So you could use an equation of normal. In many, many places, you will find that solution. You can take that solution as well. All right. So if you have any questions about this particular problem or any other questions, do ask me in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.